Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another edition of Worth a Watch with me, Tone Flores. Today is going to be a big Blu-ray update. Got nine Blu-rays to show you all, so let's get the show started. Here we go. He's going the distance. He's going for speed. She's all alone. Alrighty, first up is we got one of these B-movie favorites of mine. It's definitely one of those hit or miss movies, well, more miss than hit with a lot of people, is Ghost Rider my head comes on fire it really does it just it just gets all flamey and and I got pretty angry and, and upset I don't even know what to say just I feel like I'm out of breath oh god this is definitely a movie where many people are split on uh, you know just the fact is they can at least praise the fact that they even made a Ghost Rider film but then they hate the fact that Nick Cage was involved and in, let alone the star of this movie film but I gotta say, I love this movie because in just the fact Nick Cage is just so subtly insane in this movie. Um, but the sequel, I think, is actually far better than this one in terms of entertainment value. Nick Cage got a lot more crazy, if that's even possible, in the sequel. This one, he was more subtle, as I said. And, of course, uh, just uh, some quick glance inside. You got Nick Cage and Eva Mendes in there. Some pretty decent discard. Uh, the back. Um, and, of course, you got... Eva Mendes' nice cleavage throughout the film, in case of that really just is what will get you through it. But overall, I, I just like this movie. I don't know what... It's not terrible. There are B-movies that don't even make sense. This, is to me, is a B-movie. So is the sequel. I definitely say, if you're a fan of Nick Cage, or just a fan of B-movies in general, I think this is definitely worth checking out if you've yet to see it. Next up is the film Paper Man. I actually did a review of this last year. I think it came out 2010. Um... Either way, it's a great movie. Jeff Daniels and Emma Stone and Ryan Reynolds do a great performances here. And uh, if you really want to get into detail on how I felt about the film, link in the description below for my review. Um, some nice disc art in there, pretty plain inside though, no inside artwork. Uh, but usually Sony's the ones are the they're the only company that really does inside artwork like steel books. Um, but overall, um, great indie film. I think it's definitely an enjoyable, light-hearted dramedy type. Of film right here uh, but it, it does relate to a lot of people in, in the fact is as you can see here everybody's got some grow-up time to go through in their lives so definitely a relatable situation here. good film next up is the movie Chasing Amy this is definitely one of Kevin Smith's better films if not his best film um, in this view of universe I just enjoy every single one of his films uh, here's a quick look on the inside disc artwork and such. Got some nice photos in the inside there. It's all around just such a great romantic comedy. If romantic comedies were made more like this, a lot of guys would see them. I'll tell you that right now. When they got emotional depth and understanding from the point of view of the man and the woman, not just such a crappy <laughs> interpretation of a woman, like needy and just really... F you catch my drift. <laughs> great romantic comedy right here. And one of Kevin Smith's best, best films. And um, definitely worth checking out on Blu-ray. It's great picture quality. And it's also got some newer exclusive bonus features if you can even read them there. Sorry about the glare. Next up is the movie Batman Under the Red Hood. I also did a very highly overpraised review when this movie came out. If you want to check that out as well, link in the description. I love this movie. To me, I have yet to see, though, Batman Year One. But as far as I'm... As far as Batman animated movies are concerned, this is by far the best of these Warner premiere titles that have been coming out in the recent years. Such a dark storyline, but just so, so good. It's fucking amazing, and um, this is a side-by-side -side point of view. The only difference is just the banner up here. Um, both of them have the same artwork in the back. Quick view on the inside digital copy code as well as some pretty badass disc art work and a good amount of special features there it's definitely worth picking up if you're as much as a die-hard Batman fan as I am you're missing out and I really am probably missing out on Batman year one so I'm definitely gonna get a move on on that one going along with this year's Avengers craze I finally got the Incredible Hulk with the fancy lenticular slip cover uh, sadly, it's got a little wear on it, but I got it for free at my local DVD Blu-ray store. Uh, I got it with enough credits, and um, 
yeah, it's just a fucking awesome lenticular slip cover. With this, it goes for <laughs> 30 plus dollars on eBay and uh, just the, the actual casing. I did not, for some reason, whoever you had this used, because these are all used, obviously. Um, I don't know what happened to the green cover. I wanted the, or the green case. I wanted the green case, but unfortunately not. I'm going to probably replace it in time. Uh, but of course, you got the nice disc artwork back when Universal actually did that still. And uh, digital copy and all that good stuff. Ice Cream Man. Next up is Hellboy 2, another badass lenticular slipcover. I wish they could have done a little bit more with this. I love the zoom in on his face and going from animated to live action Hellboy right here. I really think it's a pretty good contrast. And you got some tons of special features and awesomeness right here. Um, look at the actual case. I got this brand new Atari for like eight bucks and it actually had this slip cover, so that's pretty cool. If you find it at your local Atari for eight bucks, go for it. It's again, back when Universal did nice Blu-ray and disc artwork. Ah, Universal, what happened to you? Actually, the company I'm more pissed off with is actually <laughs> Warner Brothers, man. Those guys are skimping out even more. At least Universal dishes out some nice artwork. Ah. Next up is Red. I definitely thought this was an underrated movie for back in 2010. Uh, but the sad thing is, I finally figured out something. There is a steelbook version from the Netherlands, and I have found a few copies here or there on eBay, and now I'm going to purchase that because the cover is a hell of a lot more badass. If you've seen the actual poster, you'll know what I'm talking about, because it's that poster and not this really choppy edited photo here and I don't know why they didn't use that original poster but I'm probably gonna dump this off <laughs> uh, but anyways a quick look on the inside odds are the one from the Netherlands has the same type of thing if it's Summit Entertainment they're pretty plain when it comes to disc artwork but overall uh, they have some nice artwork in general um, it's got some okay special features from what I can see um, but yeah, that's red. Next up is the movie Limitless. Another movie with such a pain in the ass to find slip cover. I don't know what it is with people that throw these away or just completely tear them apart. This one's unfortunately got some wear on it too. But for 13 bucks, I thought, why not? It's a fucking awesome, very, very intriguing thriller. To it's got Bradley Cooper actually being serious. You got Robert De Niro just being a little bit of... Um, hey, you see me in my movie, yeah? Have you seen me? I don't think you have. Have you seen this film? I was in it. Don't see New Year's Eve. See this film. I try, guys. I try. And, of course, look on the actual case itself. You got It's pretty blank looking. Once you take away the nice shininess versus bleh. Um So, definitely, that's even more reason why I'm glad I found this. Um, you got some nice artwork actually on the discs here. Uh, pretty, pretty nice to look at on the inside. You got Bradley Cooper there on two different discs with different artwork, so I'm glad with this. Great release from Fox here. So, last but definitely not least, the WB Shop exclusive of a very Harold and Kumar Christmas. Now, this, from what I understood, didn't come with a 3D version. It was only for the 2D version. But I am planning to upgrade to the 3D version very, very soon. So, uh, but as you can see here, you got all this awesome stuff. I got it for about 40 bucks. Now it's going for as high as about 50 to 60. Uh, but as you can see, if you've seen the film, this is exactly what the package looks like that Harold is supposed to get from Kumar. And uh, take a quick peek on what's inside. The little trinkets. Got the ping pong, or the beer pong balls here. We have Harold and Kumar. There's Kumar right there. Uh, the waffle bot. Harold somewhere there. Anyways, it's pretty awesome. Just little tricky stuff like this is pretty sweet. And I've saw this on eBay going for about 25. This little guy right here. This is fucking awesome. I, I, I guess I would pay like 10, but 25? No. Um, but this is awesome. It's a little wind up waffle bot. It's so fucking epic. The Blu ray, yeah. Um, it looks a little plain to me. As I said, I'm going to probably definitely upgrade to the 3D Blu-ray. But if I do, you'll definitely see it from a Blu-ray update video in the very near future, hopefully. It's got a nice slip cover. But here's what I mean by Warner Brothers and New Line and Warner Brothers, apparently, uh, are really skimping out. Flipping discs. This is bullshit. 
it looks, it's just, it's more chance for damage and all that other crap. And uh, not as many special features. I'm kind of bummed with this release. That's why I want the 3D version. At least the th lenticular slipcover will make up for it. <sighs> oh well, you yeah, get what you pay for. But anyways guys, thank you all for sitting in through this pretty lengthy Blu-ray update video. Hope you all have enjoyed it. I definitely have. It's been a blast to just get my collection even further to awesomeness. I really am just digging Blu-ray more and more as I buy them. Checked out the picture quality. All these films so far look really awesome to me. They're really fun films, good films, and just generally good things to... It's good entertainment. That's why I buy them. Just good entertainment. Yeah. Good way to spend your time if you're really bored. <laughs> but anyways, guys, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Comment below what you think about this video. And, of course, like this video. Subscribe. Click that button right above my head. So, anyways, guys, until next time, I'm Tom Flores with Worth Watch. Thanks again, and we'll see you all next time.